Have you ever been geocaching? I'm going to tell you right now, totally different thing on Geonosis. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Today we're going to talk about what the best light speed bundles are, depending on what your account is, uh, what their status is, what, you know, if you're late game, early game, if you have a lot of stuff, if you don't. Honestly, they're actually very useful even for the late game players, as, as I'll demonstrate. So, a uh, lot, lot of stuff to discuss here, folks. Huge shout out to my patrons, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for everything you do. I really appreciate you guys. And if you want to support this channel for free, folks, all you gotta do is hit that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, comment. Let's mount that stinking algorithm, shall we? It's not that stinky, I promise. Well, <laughs> maybe it is. But who cares? Let's jump into what's available, folks. So there's five new light speed bundles available, uh, and you can buy them for your friends, honestly, folks, or your, your guildmates. That that's a it's a fun gift to do. Uh, so you can get Ewoks, Geonosians, Nice Sisters, General Skywalker. Well, a lot of characters to unlock General Skywalker, I should say, plus the Negotiator, and then a bunch of just random one-off separatists. So first, let's talk about General Skywalker. Uh, well, actually, very first, let's just say I, I, we're gonna take one assumption here, folks, and that is I'm not I'm not going to pressure you at all to pay money on this game. I'm not spend money. Don't spend money if you don't want to. Truly, I don't care if you do. If you do want to spend money, these light speed bundles are amazing in value. If you're going to go spend the like fifty dollars for let's say on crystals, you would realize very quickly if you hadn't realized before that to buy enough gear to even get one character from a like gear eleven up to you know relic three with just crystals would be way more than fifty dollars worth of crystals, and that's just one character. And the, these light speed bundles are multiple characters that you can have that you might not even have those characters unlocked at all and you have them all the way completed to be able to you know from from start to finish if if you want to do that um with with these with these bundles so really good deal in terms of cash spend if you don't want to spend money that's up to you, that's totally fine. But if you do want to spend money, there's not really much better deals out there. It, these are frankly quite amazing if you're willing to spend some money on the game. Now, General Skywalker, $50. Yes, it's the steepest price tag, but the, what you get here is amazing. Folks, the Hyperdrive bundle is really good. It, it really is. I think this one is better. For a new player, this is amazing. You get the Negotiator, you get a bunch of Galactic Republic pilots and Jedi, and then you get a bunch of Separatists. All of these characters are relevant in the end game, except for maybe Clone Sergeant, who is a requirement character for Jedi Master Kenobi. So lots of really strong things here. Uh, even Plo Koon, I use him all the time on multiple accounts. He is very, very, relevant to the end game. Uh, the, I mean, you don't get every single piece. And it, I mean, honestly, even if you don't unlock General Skywalker, that's probably okay. Like these things are just amazing. Uh, early game fleet is, is really good to have as negotiator. Uh, and the thing I want to point out here, folks, is GT2 is the, th is the resource you use to farm the negotiator. And you take, it requires a lot of GT2, and now you don't have to. You don't have to spend as much GT2. You can spend it on <laughs> farming malevolence, or you can spend it on Kyrotech, or uh, there's a few other characters you need to farm with it. Uh, it's, it's a very rare resource early game, and you have to spend it on these things that are like diminishing value, honestly. Like, the Negotiator is a very good fleet, but it's not as strong as it used to be, right? Uh, same with malevolence. And, and so... It's nice to have that GT2 being able to be allocated to other maybe more relevant and current projects. Uh, one thing to point out here too, folks, you can't just turn around and unlock General Skywalker with this event. You have to actually have C-3PO already. So if you don't have C-3PO, you might have to get the Ewok bundle as well. But uh, it, anyways, this is pretty tremendous value just because all the characters are really good. Uh, I mean, General Kenobi is also an, a more expensive character to farm with, with what, is it GT1? Raid currency one, I, I don't remember, but it, it's nice to have to get him. A lot of relevant characters. Like I say, I use all of them 
currently. There's also an overlap. Asajj, if you want to buy all the Lightspeed bundles, sure, feel free. Do that. I don't really care how you spend your money, but Asajj is in like three different packs. Just, just saying, folks. Uh, it, yeah, so I would buy this. If I was a new player, this was this is what I would probably buy for like my starting pack. It's really, it's, it's, it really is just that good, folks. Uh, okay, so Nice Sisters. I think the biggest thing that jumps out to me here, of course, is that there's no Marin, and all Marin is the uh, she's like she's the center of the Night Sisters right now. She's she's the one everyone has to kind of revolve around, and the best team is gonna have Marin. And you don't get Marin with this. You need to be farming her. She's accelerated now. She's used to unlock Jedi Cal, which I've been advising people to be working on from uh, for a long time. And uh, you know. But you can you can do that guilt free now, guys. She's accelerated. She's amazing. She makes the nice sister squad really strong. And uh, there's a lot of different things that you get for this, folks. Uh, you get the nice sister assault battle to be able to win. Uh, one thing I didn't mention or that I didn't write here, but is really strong, is there's also the mother tells an event that happens every month that gives you free zetas, and you have to normally you have to farm mother tells in to a certain point to be able to unlock that mission, and then once you have unlocked that mission then you're you're able to get those free zetas and uh it's you you just immediately get that which is really nice early game uh similarly similar to what ewoks get in a little bit we'll talk about that i think i did write that one down but uh you also nice sisters benefit from datacrons and that will be nice to have a full squad of relic characters to be able to put a datacron on if you so chose they're they're very relevant in the end game right now they'll kill Jabba, they'll kill a lot of different things. I just put out a Factions Essentials, Faction Essentials video. If you want to go look that up, just search Zareth Faction Essentials, Night Sisters, and you'll find it. So, a uh, lot, lot of things. And then, I guess the one other thing I want to just point out as a it's just an interesting thought is uh, so they're really relevant now. They're really strong early game core team. Can't overstate how important Night Sisters are on your roster, frankly, but uh, you're also potentially going to be getting some reinforcements in the form of the Ahsoka show. You know how there's Night Sisters there. If you've watched it, if you haven't, I won't spoil it. You go, but go watch it because get off your hindquarters, man. That, that's crazy. You haven't seen it yet. <laughs> and uh, if, if you like Star Wars, and then there's Tales of the Empire, which I haven't seen yet, but I know that there are clips with Night Sisters in it and the the main character that's focused on we don't have in the game yet so we'll see if we get them but but we could easily get some of those reinforcements at some point and so yeah you know, nice sisters pretty good stuff man uh Gian Oceans. this one is the one that's like not fake that, that it's like hey you could get this thing you can get general skywalker if you don't, as long as you have C-3PO, hey, you could, you could get Nice Sisters, as long as you also have Marin. Uh, you know, all of them are, are, have this like really big caveat, like, hey, you could get a good Ewok squad if you already have Nisa. The, this one's the one that isn't a lie, folks. This one is a full squad from start to finish. Uh, Pet Geos, I'm not gonna lie to you folks, uh, they're not relevant in the end game right now for a lot of reasons. They're, they're, end game don't really benefit from this i mean sure having some pilots at relics is nice uh, but that fleet isn't super relevant in the end game either uh, however uh, you can use them in rise of the empire territory battle you can also have nice sisters as well folks i should point that out uh but but that's not all that's also really not needed so well, like why do you got what do you get geos so first off if you're a new player this is amazing this is really good stuff because You'll get into a guild that's doing the the Watt unlock mission in Geonosis territory battle, and and that is a really big important thing. You need Watt to be able to advance. A lot of times, it's a, it's a really strong squad uh, to be able to have <laughs> to be able to have Watt, and um, you so that that's nice. And then I mean, if you need more teams in GAC, it's a good team to put on GAC. Even if everyone knows how to counter it at this point, it is still kind of a pain. And uh, you know, you can unlock Padme with it. You don't have to buy that Padme pack, and uh, you don't have to you don't have to do that, guys. And there are also pilots for early game. If you get a five star malevolence uh, unlocked, those those Geonosians uh, like 
Farm the droids, please. God, farm the droids, guys. Uh, people don't farm them. They just put geos with, with their malevolent... And it's so easy to kill them. But uh, those pilots are very strong. Or All the way through the mid-game, really nice to have at relics. Uh, the spy hits like a truck, except it's a ship, which is a like bigger version of a truck. So, I mean, really, it hits like a ship. It just doesn't sound that cool. So, really good stuff. And then also, uh, Poggle is actually the the only the one thing I will say. They are relevant in Endgame in Territory Wars. They're pretty good at territory warring. No, the, the Omicron on Poggle is, is stronger than I had given it credit for. Is it the world beater? No. It, there's a lot of significant weaknesses to it, but that team can be pretty good, especially mid-game, but, I mean, even end-game play, players and guilds do use it. So, okay, Ewoks. The, this is the one where you unlock C-3PO, except you don't have Nisa, so the best, the best version of this squad in the game is going to contain Nisa. There's no question. She is the Ewok lifter. It's not a world beater squad. Yes, it can take down some galactic legends in the right circumstances. Not very common, but you need a pretty solid amount of investment in them. I don't want to be down on Ewoks, guys. I like them in general. I think they're fun. However, they, they just aren't worth the investment in the game in general. Now you do get, if you get this pack, first off you get a couple Leia unlock requirements, which is nice. Also the final segments of the Endor raid are here, and you Chirpa and Wicket. Well, Chirpa's good. Wicket's not, not as great, but if you want a Relic 3 team, I mean, he's... There's there's worse out there, uh, you know. You just you need Nisa to make the squad good. The one thing that I will point out, folks, is one of the most common Omicrons in the game is the Chirpa Omicron because a lot of early game players have an Ewok squad because they unlocked C-3PO and then they're like well what do I do with these Omicrons I have a ton of them not realizing that there's going to be a huge crunch for them end game and so you're, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a lot of Ewok Omicrons out there that you can finally use and it, it's nice you do need Nisa like I keep saying but otherwise they're they're okay. The, the bad thing about this is you get a bunch of Ewoks, and they're, they're not that good. 15 bucks, not a bad deal. Honestly, uh, early game and mid game, not too bad. So, uh, Padme, this this one, this is the final bundle, folks, and this one is so full of overlap, tons of Separatists. I love Separatists, I really do. They're really strong. Uh, you can get all these Separatists in a separate bundle it, with the general skywalker bundle uh, for the most part i guess not not all of them but yeah th this is fine i mean for 25 bucks sure you even if even if you do end up getting all these other uh things that are that are uh, overlapping and stuff like Count Dooku is is distinct from it, um, and he's a requirement for two different Galactic Legends. Newt is a requirement for Lord Vader, and he's very good on a lot of different squads, like a Trench Squad or a General's Grievous Squad. Even um, really good stuff. So yes, this is fine. Jango's really good on Separatist squads or on Mandalorian squads. Uh, so it's it's fine. It's good. It, this one seems the most lackluster out of all of them, but. To be honest, they're all relevant characters that are good, and I think that's what I like about this most folks, is either you're going to get a bunch of, like you're going to get characters that are relevant, or, you know, that, that you can use to unlock characters, or you're going to get characters that um, are just used to bludgeon your opponent to, all the way to death. So uh, people want to know, what, I, what am I doing on my accounts? I have three accounts. And uh, I mean, people legitimately ask this all the time. What are you doing on your accounts for all of this? And actually, I have an answer for all three of them. So I have three accounts. If you don't know, uh, come watch me play on Twitch sometime, guys. It's linked in the video description. Free to watch. Would love to have you. Just come and, come and hang out. But um, first off, on my main account, I have a 13 million account. That's my main account. I spend money for that account. I've been playing it for... You know, uh, like one year less than the game has been around, so a long time at this point, like decades at least. And then, <laughs> uh, eleven, an eleven million GP, which is, uh, you know, it's not free to play, but I, I spend like ten dollars a month on it uh, for the conquest pack. And then same thing, it's just a younger than that account, a seven point eight million GP account with two Galactic Legends. I bought all the light speed bundles on it so far. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna buy them this time, but we'll, we'll talk about it. So, uh, first off, my thirteen million. 
GP account, my main account. I have all the th all the stuff. I have Bo-Katan. I even have, I just unlocked Jar, Jar Jar. I have all the stuff. I'm current and, and everything. I, I don't have uh, the screenshots you see are, uh, I mean, the real screenshots of, uh, I, I don't have everyone at gear of 13 yet. I mean, I'm close, but these actually constitute two of my biggest factions that I don't have completely relic there or you know gear 13 on and so I, I might spend 30 bucks to get those because it's still worth way more than the gear I would have to spend to get them there so uh, yeah maybe I'll do it I'm not sure uh, maybe I'll do it uh, so on my middle account this is my professor X account it is seven galactic legends it is in a uh, pretty it's an end game guild and uh the one thing i'm probably going to spend on for that account i'll probably get night sisters uh, because it, it i mean yes i already have old daka at relic three but the rest of them are you know would get an upgrade and i mean i would have to upgrade Marin as well and then it would get me a little closer to doing that special mission in rise of the empire uh, for the territory battle to help contribute to my guild's get2 uh you know collection or whatever there like eventually we're gonna have too much gt2 to be honest we're, we're getting it at a really high rate uh but i mean it is really nice and uh so probably nice sisters the rest of them don't really make sense i do have ewoks even with the chirpacron and uh, probably not because i don't use ewoks on that account for anything at all really uh there's there's that may change but i you know I don't think that there's much use for any of the other packs for this account. Nice Sisters being the really big exception. I mean, I, I could get Geos as well, but I also, I just don't use Geos. There's no use for them. I, they're not on defense. That I wouldn't use them on offense. I do have a Relic 1 Geo Brood Alpha that I use as a plug-and-play tank, which is a great use for them. But otherwise, Geos, yeah, it would be cool to have them. But am I going to spend money on an account I barely spend money on anyways? Uh, I'll probably pass on that. And then finally, the most relevant one, guys my smallest account the one about all the light speed bundles i don't know if i'm gonna buy any of them i might buy some of them but three of them catch my interest number one uh the nice sisters one because you can see how awful my, they are I, I mean watch the faction essentials video guys if you're interested you can accomplish a ton even with that garbage squad that you see before you you can accomplish so much with it it's it's so silly how good that squad can be like seriously i it kind of breaks my mind um geos i put them on defense in gac at this point because i'm in kyber 2 with that account I, bouncing between kyber 3 and kyber 2 but I need teams, guys. I At 7.8, I don't have enough teams. So I put Geos on defense. You can see the screenshot there. They're all gear 11 or worse. And it's atrocious, I realize. Please don't judge me out loud. But they aren't. They're not good. They are horrible, in fact. And I would love to have... And, and I use the Malevolence fleet all, all the time as well. Because I don't have all the fleets super leveled up. So having Geos... Geos might be my number one target, honestly. Because my Night Sisters are very functional as they are. Even though I use Datacrons and stuff and would like to use Datacrons with them, they're really relevant and good without it, honestly. They're still killing a lot of stuff. And then Ewoks, I'm also putting them on uh, defense. And then they would help with the Endor raid a little bit. I still have to unlock Galactic Legend Leia. And so that would get me Wicket. And it would get me um, Chirpa at gear 13 so th there's just two two things i don't have to worry about so uh, you know and you can see there my my ewoks aren't that good but i do have the omicron and i have the zetas on a few of them too so just a short step away from making those a little more relevant so uh, that, that's kind of just a more practical view of you know okay so sure they're all valuable but like which accounts would use them uh, hopefully that a, a practical example helps and I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a wonderful Monday or whatever day you're watching this on. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember that in all things, Zeros prevails.